All right, you guys are doing amazing. Uh, thank you very much for sticking with this and getting everything set up. Uh, I know we're setting up a lot of things, and you guys are probably wondering, what the heck, guys? We are seriously just setting the stage so that when you get into creating your funnels, that you don't have to deal with all this stuff, how you're going to take money, how you're going to send out emails. Um, because once we get into these individual pages, we'll be able to go in and integrate this stuff with your, your AWeber account. We'll be able to set it up with Stripe. We'll be able to take the money on your order pages. We'll, all this stuff will just work seamlessly. So all this stuff that you're doing is like a uh, hopefully a one-time thing, uh, and that's it. So right now what we're going to do is set up your uh, payment gateway. We're going to set up Stripe. We've already set up Stripe. So what I want you to do is make sure that you're logged in to your Stripe account. So make sure that in another tab, you've got that opened up. That's going to make this a little bit easier. Okay. Now what you would do from there is come over inside of your ClickFunnels account, come over here, go to your payment gateways over here. So go to account and then down here to payment gateways, click on that. And uh, guys, this is pretty simple. Um, what this is going to do is allow you to set up all these different payment gateways. Now, that being said, since we're here, if you have something besides Stripe, then it is possible to set other systems up. Obviously, as you're looking at this, you can set up Braintree, uh, Infusionsoft. So if you're using Infusionsoft, you can actually integrate that directly with ClickFunnels because Infusionsoft uh, directly connects with uh, some some merchant merchant accounts like Authorize.net, um, Infusionsoft. I, I'm not 100% familiar with them, but they may also act as their own merchant account. I wouldn't imagine that, but it's possible. Uh, Warrior Plus, JVZoo, ClickBank, um, Taximo, Entreport, EasyPay Direct, NMI, Recurly. A lot of these are new, uh, and some of these I'm not even sure how they work. So. Um, what, you, what you're going to do is just click on Stripe. Mine's already connected, but if you have another one, just click on Connect with Additional Stripe Account, and then you're going to name that Stripe account. So if it's connected to a particular email address, just type that in here and click Create Stripe Account. And what it'll do is it'll go into the Stripe account, which you've already set up, which you're already logged into right now, and it'll, uh, it'll make sure that that is what you want to do. So that's what's going to allow ClickFunnels to talk to Stripe and Stripe to talk back to ClickFunnels. And they'll have that two-way communication going on. And it, you'll just have to authorize that to take place because you don't, you don't just want anybody being able to connect to your Stripe account. So what you have to do is personally go in there and, and uh, authorize that connection. Uh, but from there, that's it. Once you get done, make sure that you've got the green check mark over here. It's another green check mark. It says successfully connected. And, uh, and that's it. If you guys have questions on how to do that, make sure that you click on Stripe integration over here. That'll take you into the documentation through ClickFunnels and allow you to set that up. Uh, but what I just told you should be enough to get you guys going and make sure that that works. Okay. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. And uh, we're, we're going to continue setting this up and making sure that everything works. All right. Thanks.